I bet you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's a bunch of stuff. You would be absolutely right. If you are new, grab a seat, make yourself at home. If you are coming back, welcome back to the chaos of the Witchy Crafting Mama. Well, a few things went on. There were Prime Day sales and Dollar Tree and yeah. So a few things went on this weekend and this past week. Um, and that's what this is right here. I have the sweetest wife because I wanted to go out and look for Halloween decorations. I know what you're thinking, Halloween, it's just now July or almost July, but every once in a while you can go into a store and it starts trickling in at the end of spring, the beginning of summer. You start seeing little bits of orange, little bits of purple, some more black stuff coming in so they can get the fall things going. And that's when my little heart sings. So my wife, being the good wife that she is, told me to go ahead and find some stores that I wanted to go to, and we would see if we can find Halloween decorations. No Halloween decorations were found, clearly, because the only thing that's purple is those, and I will explain those. Okay, so we're gonna do Dollar Tree first. And the reason we're doing Dollar Tree first is because it's the most, and it's the easiest for me to grab and get a hold of. So, let's start with the purple. All right, so these beautiful, 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 beautiful things are roses. These were at the Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree in San Jose that I've never been to before. We were down there, long story. You don't need to know about it. But I wanted to go into Dollar Tree, obviously. Obviously, I wanted to go into Dollar Tree. So we went into Dollar Tree because I was looking for Halloween decorations always. But primarily, I was looking for specific things to finish <laughs> my ongoing projects that I have to find piece by piece by piece. And I was hoping they had some there. They didn't. But they did have these. And that made up for it. So, I'm walking through. Boop, 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 boop. <gasps> saw these and I grabbed them. There was a bunch of different ones, all of them. These were the only four that I found that weren't jacked up. If you can see like the little, I have to fix this guy. This one's in rough shape, but they're so pretty and they match my room perfectly. So the gentleman, when I went up to the check checkout thing, you know, he's going boop, boop, boop. And he's all, oh, somebody picked up the flowers. And I was like, what do you mean picked up the flowers? And he's like, well, we found these stuffed in the back in the storage room from two Halloweens ago. We only had, I think they had like maybe 20 of them. Um, he's all, we only had a few of them. And my manager said, nobody's going to buy those in the beginning of summer. Yeah, obviously they didn't know about me. <laughs> so I got the ones that weren't all mangled. Some of them were just so, well, okay, the rest of them. I literally only got the four. I would have bought all of them, but the other ones were so, so, so messed up. So I got these four beauties. I'm going to put them in a really pretty vase and use them as decor around my room somewhere. So I got those. And I found my plant sticks, hanger, mer bobby things. They had a whole bunch of these actually. So I just got three of them because it's only three of that I know that I'm going to need, if that makes any kind of sense. But yeah, so I got these. And what's funny is my wife and I were at a store just prior to going to that dollar store and she knew that I needed these. So she picked them up and she's carrying them around the store. And I'm like, babe, what are you doing? She's like, well, don't you need these for one of one of your projects or a couple of your projects? I was like, well, yes, I do. Thank you. That's very sweet. But those are $6 each. $6 each. And she's like, I know, but you need them. And I'm like, babe, we're going to go to the dollar store. If they have them there, then I'll get them there. And she's like, and what if they don't? I'm like, then I won't get them because I'm not paying $6 when I can pay a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. And it's literally the same one. It doesn't have the same label, but they're, I mean, they're strong. They don't, I'm not putting, I'm not putting anything heavy on them. I don't need six dollar plant hangers what are they yeah they are called plant hangers or support a plante i'm french okay moving right along <laughs> all right so let me show you these awesome picture frames i'm not going to use them for picture frames but i'm going to use them okay so i know i told you all that i was going to use those frames the canvas 
stretched canvas frame things. I kept laying them out and kept looking at them, kept laying them out, kept looking at them, didn't like it. I just did not like it. So I found these. This gray, I'm not even going to have to paint. I may be able to get away with the gray and leave it. I was in the aisle at the Dollar Tree laying out different frames to see which ones I liked side by side better. And these one. So I'm going to do three across the top, three across the bottom. Take out the glass because we know Nana and glass. Plus there's no reason for it to be in there. Although I may leave it. It might look prettier if I put... Anyways, so... <laughs> I digress. I'm going to put three across the top, three across the bottom, and then in the middle I'm going to put a command hook in the middle one to hang so that it like hangs in a frame. I'll post a picture when it's done, never mind. Okay, so I got six of those, three across the top, three across the bottom, like I said about a dozen times. Okay, that's it. Moving along. Oh, I got a birthday card, but I can't show you that. All right. Uh, let's see what else is there. Oh, gloves. Okay, so let me just tell you. Let me just, let me, okay, let me just say this. Let me just, let me, I have the worst luck when it comes to these things. I have bought in individually, like I'll go and I'll be like, oh, that's right. My glove has a hole in it. Let me pick up a package. And I pick up a package, one package, right? So I get it home. I go to do the dishes. My hands are in, I'm scrubbing, I'm washing, I'm rubbing my hands and water pours, pours down the sleeve because this portion this portion right there, this part right here on every one of my gloves tears. Every single one of them. And you would think that it would be if, oh, my left one tore. I could just buy another one and I'll have two, you know, two leftovers. No, 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 no. Nay, 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 nay. It is always the same hand. It's always this hand, always right here. That's a lie. It was here one time too. So I just bought two because I, um, Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, moving along. Next. Parchment paper. So my, my special kind of behind <laughs> has been buying the Reynolds parchment paper at like, I don't even know how much. And so I need, I was baking the other day and I ran over to Nana's and I asked her, do you have any parchment paper? And she's like, oh, honey, I don't know. She doesn't know. I don't know why I asked her. But I went and looked, and she had some, and I took it. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Where'd you get this at? Oh, probably the dollar store, which I knew the answer to that, but I wanted to ask her. I like to keep her engaged in the conversation. Yeah, so they sell parchment paper at the Dollar Tree? No clue. Not a clue in the world. So I got two of these because I'm constantly baking and I use parchment paper on the bottom or when I bake. I also use parchment paper when I package up cookies and brownies and the such for my wife's work. For when she takes treats into work, I make layers with the paper and it looks quite fancy. So I got two of these because I need it. Moving along. I say that a lot. Moving along. All right. Poop bags. I don't need to explain these. We don't have a dog. We have a cat, but I need poop bags for him for his litter box. Okay. Oh, they are 60 count. I, I'm not, there's four rolls of 15 bags each. I probably could have done the math, but I didn't want to. Okay. I got a strainer for Nana. I don't know what she does to her strainers. Just like I don't know what she does to her plate holder things that I got her. So I got her another strainer. Um, yeah, that's for Nana. I also got a very pretty drawing mat. I got this. I got this for us, but I'm looking at Nana's and I think I may need to replace hers, but um, I'm not sure if she's going to go for the blue because she's not quite so. But I like it. I think it's pretty. We might use it. We might not. Who knows? And lastly, so I've been seeing on all the YouTuber peoples that there is wallpaper. So they call it foil black back let's try this again foil backsplash wall sticker so I wanted to try it I wanted to see how it works because um I can't stand our backsplash and if this works we rent so I can't do anything normal or not normal not anything permanent that's the word I was looking for um so I'm hoping that these work and they stick well just so that I can change up the kitchen a little bit so I got two packages of these they had a bunch of this style the, this style is kind of cute. These, uh, they leave a little bit to be desired in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, but no, I like these. I thought they're, I thought they're nice. And, and if it doesn't work, I can use them for something else, I'm sure, like to make a tray or something out of. Like I need a tray. I, 
I don't know. I just like them. I wanted to see if it works. So there we go. So that's Dollar Tree. Oh. Be right as I was saying. So this is accumulation of a couple of different things. So Prime Day happened. Um, Amazon's Prime Day happened. And um, I bought some things. Some things. But, so let me just explain. Okay, so Prime happened and um, I had gotten a few things. I got kitty copters. Don't ask. There are these things for my cat. He likes them. He jumps. He plays. He acts very young and he's an old dude. Um, so I got those. I got some sunnies. I got... Other stuff that I don't remember. Very few things, um, just necessity things. And those are necessity things are being necessarily used. So the only ones that I have are these two. So I got the sunnies. Now, okay, I'm I'm usually so not a trendy person. Like when people are like, oh my God, these sunnies are so awesome. What are they called? Influencers? Yeah, I usually don't, don't listen to them. But there's this one chick I watch on YouTube um, and she's, such like a little trendy kind of influencer type of person and she had these really really cute sunglasses um which were these she linked them in her description I wanted to see what they were about they were like six dollars because of prime day so I went ahead and got them and I've already worn them that's why the box is already jacked up and everything I've already worn them just because we were out this weekend and I wanted to see so I want to show you how these guys come because I can't remember how much they are I'll have to look them up and in editing, Tezro in editing, put in the amount so you can remember to put it in the little link. I'm also going to put links in description for this stuff. Anyways, as I was saying, so this is how it comes, right? It comes in this little box. They are called, they are called, what are they called? They are called Vintage Cat Eye Polar with Black Frame Gray Lenses. I don't know who the, the company is, so, so, Sojo's. They're an off-brand, but let me show you. Okay, so it comes like this, right? Like, oh, look, oh, look at that packaging. It has. Okay, so this was actually on it. What this is, this is a polarized tester. So if glasses are polarized or lenses are polarized, you'll see a little imagey thing here. So that was attached to it. This little card was on it, and it tells you about cleaning your glasses, not to use solvents, not to use this, that, and the other. It comes in this nice little plastic heavy duty Ziploc plastic bag. I tore it open because I was excited. It comes in a, what do they call these? Sock? A glasses sock I think they're called if I remember correctly. And then these are the Sunnies. They are super dark which is absolutely what I need. I've always been really light sensitive, but since I've gotten sick, my and I my eyes got screwed up a couple times with my illness, I've gotten really 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 light sensitive. So, I got these and now with oh my legs are falling asleep. Hold on. <laughs> okay. And now with masks, it's like you get fogged up. I can't even imagine what people that have to wear glasses continually and masks go through. But because I'm immunosuppressed, I wear my my um, my mask constantly, like, unless I'm in the house, obviously, but I'm wearing it all the time. And if I'm outside and it's got even remote bit of sun, I need to wear sunglasses. Hence the issue. So they're squared down on the bottom. They go out a little bit on the sides. Um, I'll insert a picture of what I look like wearing them. Not a whole, I'm not putting them on my face, like, in real life because I don't do that. So it'll just be a popped in picture here. And, um, yeah, so this is them. So it comes that and it has that and then... It's got, but wait, there's more. Oh, if I could get it out. Of course, of course, I'm going to have technical difficulties, yes? Okay, so then it has a lens, lens rag, glasses rag, and it's a big one. Like, and it's thick and it's solid, and I 100% recommend these sunglasses. If you have light sensitivity, if you like little cute stylish glasses, my wife really likes them on me, and she's usually uber picky. She's like, she's one of those straight up people, wives that'll be like, I'll put something on, and she's like, oh no, 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 you can't, I'm not letting you go out looking like that. So, she thinks they look really cute on me. So, those are the sunglasses. Okay. Moving right along. Okay, this is my Prime Day present from my wife. <laughs> I bet you can figure out what this is. Maybe not. It's a drill, let me tell you. Mm. All right, so this bad boy. This bad boy right here. So I have a drill. It is a plug-in drill. I use it for everything around the house. When I was putting up the security cameras, I used the drill. And every time I use it, I don't really complain about it 
but I do complain about the key, the locking key, because my hands can't hold it sometimes, and it's a real freaking pain in the ass. So I've been saying, I need to get a keyless drill, I need to get a keyless drill. My wife keeps saying, you need to get a cordless drill, you need to get a cordless drill. That may be true, but I was more about the keyless thing. So the Prime Day happened, and she happened to see somewhere that Amazon was having a sale on the DeWalt drill. So she's like, get it, just, 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 just get it. Okay, let me show you, let me show you this. Okay, it comes with the charger, as it should, because it's cordless. It comes with a handsome carrying case, more importantly, and we all know how I like a carrying case. Here is my baby. It is heavy, but not uber heavy. It has a little light here. Let me plug it. It comes with, also, haha, <laughs> see, I jump ahead. It comes with two batteries, which are both totally charged. It is a 20 volt, um, high powered, I guess, something or another. See, that's got a light. Oh, I just blinded you guys. Sorry. See, look at that. Look at, look at, how you doing, Zeus? And so it has the forward, it has the reverse, it has the lock, it has oh, the lock so you can't, and the battery. I mean, this thing is just the coolest. And then, see, and then you just store it. I love this thing. I forgot how much it was on Prime. Um, it is a small, it, it's heavy. Okay, so here's the thing. For me, it's heavy. It's heavier than my corded drill, which is really bizarre, but in any case. And this is without the battery pack. Um, it's very top heavy if the battery pack's not in it, but once you put the battery pack in it, it's a little bit more balanced, but it is heavy. Um, I have not used it to drill in anything. I was looking for stuff around the house, trust me. Um, <laughs> But it is an awesome, it is, it is, it is heavy, it is strong, it is a very powerful drill, more so than the one I have. I had a cordless one a long time ago, and I ended up using it as a handheld screwdriver because it didn't have enough torque in it to drill anything. So, I got this DeWalt, my baby. I am going to link it in the description should anybody have any bug up there behind that they want to check it out. Um, again, it comes with a handsome carrying case, two battery charger, two batteries, a battery charger, the drill, instructions, and all that jazz. And this was off Amazon as well. Then, because of him, hang on, let me just, because of him, right there, this guy, right there, hello Bubba, I had to get that. Oh, sorry for all the squeaking. People who are listening in headphones are probably going, aha. Um, so we just got a litter mat. Litter, that's it. See his paws? See his paws right there? Hello. Boop. Boop. So this is Zeus. That's for him. This <laughs> is for him. All right. Now that stuff. Okay. So apparently there's this place called At Home. It's a store. It's kind of, in my opinion, when we walked in, my, I found one in San Jose. My wife and I, when we walked in, it's kind of like a cross between home goods and what? Meow and Ikea. In, in, in sort of a way, the way it's laid out. It's a really cool store. It has really, really nice stuff. Not quite my motif, but it's got nice stuff. Um, in any case, I had seen online that they um, had started carrying Halloween stuff. My wife said, find it, find where the store is, we'll just go. So we went, didn't find any Halloween stuff, and found a bin, a pillow, and why did we need these? Four mini flute pans. Why did we need these? These were $6.99 apparently. Because my wife and I, to thank my nurses for my infusion um, center and my doctors and my all of the people that help take care of me and keep me from dying basically um, we make uh, little cakes like little we call them taco flans it's half chocolate half flan um, and we make them for Christmas for all of my doctors and my nurses and stuff not individually but we make small ones they're like I guess like that big they're like mini they're not mini mini but they're smaller smaller Smaller? Yeah, small, smaller bunk cakes. I can't talk. Words are very difficult for me today. I haven't had enough coffee. Anyways, we got these because there are six of them in here. Four of them in here. I lie. There are four of them in here, and we were thinking we can make individual ones for each individual person instead of mini 
smaller ones, um, smaller bunk cakes for the department. We can make them individually because honestly, I, you know, I, 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 I don't know about the whole sharing thing with this whole COVID stuff now. So I figured she, she thought of the idea actually. I'd been, I've been fighting her on this, but it makes complete sense now that, you know, COVID's a thing and people aren't wanting to share stuff so we can make them individually for each of my nurses and doctors. So we got that. Now, you want to see what this is? This is a big cushion. It's a very big cushion. So a while back on Amazon, I was looking at meditation pillows because I meditate every morning and I was, you know, looking at them, looking at them. And I, I put, I'm one of those people that put stuff in the cart because my memory is so bad. So I put it in the cart so that I remember. I don't use a wish list because I forget to check my wish list when I put stuff on my wish list to see if it goes down in price, even though your cart tells you, I still go in and do this. So I'd put a bunch of stuff, put a bunch of meditation meditation pillows in my cart on Amazon and well I accidentally bought one which was complete crap let me just tell you it is so thin my cat loves it it's perfect for him but my big behind can't sit on it. I go sit on so it's just like sitting on the floor at home has these cushions these are outdoor cushions for patio chairs and stuff but they make the perfect meditation pillow there's enough puff so that when you cross your legs, your butt's just elevated enough that your knees don't get any extra stress from sitting cross-legged, or you can sit with your legs straight. It's so comfy. I used it this morning <laughs> before I made the video. Anyways, I used it this morning and my cat loved it because he always sits on my lap when I meditate and I loved it and it was fan to bliss. I love it. So I cannot recommend this enough. If you need a meditation pillow, it was, I don't even know how much it was. Hang on. It was... It was, it was, it's charcoal. It was 24, let me see, 24.99. So I think it's totally worth it um, to buy something like this and use this instead of buying an actual meditation pillow because I, I, I've been looking at them, they're expensive. If you want one that's got good foam in it, they're expensive to, to just park your butt on on the floor and like relax. Relaxing shouldn't cost a lot. So 24 bucks at home, totally suggest it. It is a patio cushion. Tufted cushion, oh, it's a back. It's not even a bottom, guys, damn. Tufted cushion back, UV treated. I guess they're worried, oh, weather and fade resistant. Hot damn. Oh, here's the dimensions. Let me tell you the dimensions. So the dimensions are 23 and a half by 23 and a half by five inches. So there you go. Perfect. Everyday tufted back cushion from at home. All right. And last but not least, this. So Noreen, the crafty organizer, whom I absolutely adore, and she's so close to getting her, her um, subscriber silver button, play button, so happy for her. So when I redid my room, I was watching through all of her videos, well, okay, most of her videos, and she had taken her scrapbook paper and put it into a box. You know what? Hold Hello, on, I'll be back. Okay, so she had taken all of her scrapbook paper and she put it into a box. So what she does is she takes like the scraps of the pieces that have been used. She used a... Um, Oh, what do they call these? Like a uh, page for scrapbooks. I don't know what they're actually called, but so what she did is she would take them and then she would put the tag up here of what color it is. And then all the scraps go inside, right? Well, this is brilliant first. Let me just tell you, the woman is a damn genius. I can't <laughs> legit. Hang on. I have to move you guys. She is. She's seriously a damn genius because she used a um, Rubbermaid bin and I didn't have one and I wanted to use what I had on hand so I used a paper, a paper mm, cardboard box. <sighs> Words. <laughs> she used, I used a cardboard box which was a great idea in general but a really bad mistake because it's starting to pull away and tear. Even though I have it covered in contact paper it's starting to pull away. So I was looking at Rubbermaid containers and those damn things are expensive, man. And I don't just have one lying around to use. Enter at home. This is, do they even say what this is? I think this is like a laundry basket or a laundry bin or I'm not actually even sure what, what it's called. So it's hard sided and it has handles so I can carry it. So I'm gonna take that box, I'm gonna put it in here. I'm not even gonna take the paper out of the box. I'm gonna leave the paper in the box so it shows through the holes. I think it'll look so pretty. Let's actually, let's do that right now. Let's do it live, in person. We are going to do it. Okay, wish me luck guys. Oh, more paper's heavy. 
There we go. All right. There. See, and then I can carry, and what's really cool is, okay, maybe not really cool, but, so I have a bunch of paper that doesn't fit in here in a lot of spots. Um, oh, and this is a place marker. <laughs> like, I need to know where my paper goes, but yes, I do. Um, so it's got extra spots on the side here and in the front here. So if I pick up any, like how I have these, I can just put them in here. And then I have a couple of other pieces that can go. So, and I love it because it has the handles. I mean, it's just going to make it so much easier. It is bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I think it'll be okay. Um, and then once I can find a per permanent home for this in this room as opposed to in that room, it'll be perfect. So yes, this is my Dollar Tree Amazon at home haul gizmo thing, whatever it is. Anyways, so yes, that's it. Thank you for sticking around. I will review this thing at another time. I'm actually going to make a video right after this. What am I talking about? I'm going to review this because um, it needs to have its own little moment of time. So, all right, guys. See ya.